and Human Rights Watch. Now finally, it's long been known that happiness depends on many different life circumstances. Now scientists have developed a mathematical equation, there it is, I'm not going to read it out, that supposedly can predict momentary delight. Let's uh, talk to the BBC's Melissa Hogan-Boom. And uh, Melissa, we're talking about momentary happiness, not sort of long-term happiness. Yeah, it's the moment-to-moment -moment changes in how you feel. And how scientists did this is they used a quite simple risk-reward game. So people had to take a risk and gamble. And when they looked at all the previous outcomes, the results and the expectations, that's that complicated equation there. That's what they were able to predict. And you might think that how can a gambling task look at happiness? But they actually found that the participants' reactions, so what they self-reported, tracked with brain data. So they looked inside their brains using functional imaging. And areas of the brain known to be related to happiness also showed and they lit up. Right, so they did it very scientifically. But what is the point of doing a study like this? Really, what does it tell us? Well, wouldn't you want to know the happiness of the nation? Maybe you wouldn't. But the Prime Minister does. <laughs> the Prime Minister does. Scientists certainly do, because it's when this changes, when it's not how we expect it to go, when th that's when you might see somebody's depressed or have, or have other mental health issues. And that's the key thing here. So tracking the happiness, seeing the changes, seeing the unexpected changes, that can give scientists insight into our well-being. Melissa, thank you very much. Uh, Melissa Hogan, boom. Thank you and uh, happy evening.